OneMDB has received another extension to pay 603 million USD to IPIC, which was originally due on July 31st. OneMDB chairman Erwan Seriga says IPIC had agreed to the request for extension after the firm said it has still yet to receive the money from the sale of investment fund units. OneMDB now has until August 31st to make payment plus interest. But IPIC says it must make a partial payment of not less than 310 million USD by August 12th. The troubled state-owned firm was given five business days to pay up after missing last week's deadline. And IPIC had warned that there would be additional obligations should 1MDB fail to make the payment. The two parties had struck a deal in April, with 1MDB agreeing to pay back 1.2 billion USD in two installments to the Abu Dhabi firm. The second installment is due by the end of this year. Jaya Assets will be making an announcement on a potential venture with a foreign automaker within the next six months. The group wants to expand its automotive segment following the acquisition of Oriental Assemblers from Oriental Holdings. Executive Director Ko Hui Min says a non-disclosure agreement has already been signed with a major Asian brand to represent them in Malaysia. This brand is already present here but she says they are not happy with the current franchise holder. Oriental Assemblers owns a car assembly plant in Johor Bahru as well as a manufacturing license which is no longer issued amid excess capacity in the industry. Ko says the facility is currently underutilized as it is only used to do some assembly works for Chinese commercial vehicles. Hartalega had a rosy first quarter with profits jumping 71.6%. Earnings came in at 96.4 million ringgit compared with only 56.2 million ringgit last year. This is due to an increase in sales volume and average selling price, stronger USD and the improvement in operation efficiency. Revenue climbed almost 50% to over 601 million ringgit, up from 401.8 million ringgit. In the bursa filing, the group said this was thanks to the group's expansion in production capacity and increase in demand. In a separate statement, Group MD Kwan Man Leong said Hartalega's strategy put in place several years ago to drive organic growth is indeed bearing fruit. And thanks to its investment in capacity expansion and new manufacturing complex, the company expects to see its momentum strengthen. He adds that its capacity is fully sold and hence the group is focused on ensuring new capacities from plants 4 and 5 come on stream as scheduled. Plant 4 is expected to be completed by March 2018, which will contribute further to the group's earnings in the year ahead. CIMB Investment Bank says Maybank had the highest loan-to-deposit ratio in the Malaysian banking sector at 99.2% as at March 2017. This comes at a time when the industry is contending with slower deposit growth versus loan expansion. CIMB analyst Winston Ng said in a note today that Malaysian banks' deposit grew 3.5% year-on-year in June compared with the industry's loan growth at 5.7%. He warns that this trend would impact the sector's loan expansion and margin. Ng points out that shrinking deposit growth is already a major contributor to the intense competition for deposit for the past three to four years. This has led to thinner margins as banks nudge up interest rates. Plus, potential upside for loan growth will also be capped as deposit, especially fixed deposits, are the primary funding for banks' lending. As at end March 2017, most local banks in Malaysia had loan-to-deposit ratio of close to or exceeding 90%. Hong Leong Bank had the lowest ratio at 80.3%. AirAsia Group CEO Tony Fernandez says stable crude oil prices at between 40 and 50 USD a barrel has eliminated the airline industry's volatility. He told New York-based Cheddar that it is not so much about low oil prices, but it is the stability which has eliminated the volatility element for costs. He says one of the major costs of airline business has been oil, but it has been so volatile. Therefore, when investors begin to see 40 to 50 USD per barrel as a stable price level, it becomes very good for business. For AirAsia, Fernandez says oil price stability has led to a consistent cost structure, which has helped him make decisions for the airline.